We're just going to now jump to a video uh, and we've got another contribution now from the STEM response team at the University of Wolverhampton. Hi, I'm Dr. K. Hi, I'm Elise. Hi, I'm Phoebe. And hi, I'm Heather. And, and we, we are, are the STEM, STEM response team. team. and I'm part of the amazing STEM response team. Now today, I'm gonna to show you how to do a really cool experiment based on biology. We're going to look at the water transport that plants use. All plants need water to survive, just like animals and humans do. But how do plants get their water to drink? They can't use a glass like we can, so there must be a special adaption instead. Plants have a structure called xylem and xylem are like little vessels which go from the roots and transport water into the stem and into the leaves of the plant too. And that's what we are going to explore in this experiment. So what you'll need this experiment is a big stalk of celery. Now you'll want to have a celery stalk that has these nice leafy greens on top of them. Not one like this, one with the nice leaves like this. Secondly, we'll need a glass to use, we'll need some water, we'll need a spoon to mix, and we'll also need some food dye. First of all, you'll want to cut up your celery. Remember, you want to cut up a stalk that has some nice leafy greens on it. Please have the help of a responsible adult during this process. Secondly, now is the time to fill up your water in the glass. Then you'll want to add your food colouring to your water to make a nice solution. I'm using a black food colouring, but you can use whatever colour you prefer. You might need to use a few drops of food colouring to get the desired effect you want. Stir the food colouring until it's all mixed through the water. Once mixed, it's time to put your celery in the water. Just like this. Leave your celery on a nice windowsill or somewhere bright overnight. Okay, well it's a new day. We've left our celery overnight and we've come back this morning. So we're going to investigate whether our experiment has worked and if we can see those xylems, those vessels and structures which allow water transportation from the root up to the stem and into the leaves of the plant. So as you can see, our celery is here. It's been sat in our food colouring and water solution for about 24 hours now. The longer you leave it, the better results you should have. If we have a look at one of our celeries, if we take him out, very carefully not to spill your food colouring anywhere on any carpets or t-shirts. And if we have a closer look, there you go. You can just see those vessels called the xylem. Now we're gonna cut this piece of celery open and have a closer look to see the insides of this plant's structure. Cut your celery down the middle with the help of a responsible adult and you should be able to see the structures of the xylem in your celery stalk. Can you see those stripes in our stalk? So those there are the xylem and they help transport water throughout the plant. Wasn't that just incredible that we could see the structures that plants use to transport their water throughout the leaves and the stem? If you want to try this experiment yourselves at home, please do so with a responsible adult and you can find all the instructions written down in our fabulous STEM at Home booklet, which has loads of experiments, including this one called Stripey Celery. We hope you've enjoyed this session and we look forward to the rest of your science experiments. Hi everyone. 
Today I'm going to be showing you an experiment out of our STEM at Home booklet. You can find this booklet on our website under the Our Resources section. The use of invisible ink is a form of steganography and it isn't just used by secret agents. Invisible ink is applied to a writing surface with a specialty purpose stylus, fountain pen or toothpick, even a finger dipped in the special liquid. Once dry, the surface should appear blank and of similar texture to any of the surrounding material. Other uses include anti-counterfeiting, property marking, hand stamping, so for example if you've gone to an event and they stamp your hand to get in, sometimes that's invisible and it's revealed by a special light. Children's games also use it and marking for the purpose of identification during manufacturing. So when something's being made in a factory, sometimes invisible ink is used to make sure that you can identify the brand name or the manufacturing number of that product. Today, I'm gonna to be doing the invisible ink experiment. So have any of you ever wanted to send a super secret message to one of your friends or maybe a family member? A message that you can't see unless you do a super secret science experiment to show it. Well, I'm going to show you how to do that in this video. So for this experiment, you're going to need some milk or lemon juice, some cotton buds, a small bowl and some pieces of paper. You're also going to need a light bulb or a heat source that gets quite warm. Make sure you have an adult to supervise you for this part. So first you're going to have to dip your cotton bud in milk, drip off the excess and then write your secret message onto your scrap paper. You can write anything you want. I'm just going to write the word STEM because that's one of my favourite words on this piece of paper that I've got in front of me now. Then all you have to do is wait for these letters to dry until you can no longer see the letters on the pieces of paper. So I'm just going to fan mine a little bit to speed up the process. You can also use the cold setting on a hairdryer to speed this up. So once you have that heat source ready, you need to just find that responsible adult I told you about earlier and you'll have to ask them to place the piece of paper with your secret message over the heat source. So this could take some time, so be patient and slowly but surely the letters will heat up until you're able to see the secret message again. So there's my stem paper there. So now you're probably wondering, how did this work? Well lemon juice is an organic substance that oxidises and turns brown when you heat it up. By diluting the lemon juice in water, what you did there was you made it less noticeable when you applied it to the paper, so nobody was aware that it was there until it was heated up and the secret brown message is revealed. There are other things that work in a similar way to the lemon juice and water mixture, such as orange juice, honey, milk and vinegar. These are all substances that oxidise when heated and therefore change colour. Invisible ink can also be made in labs using different chemical reactions, and certain liquids can even be viewed under a UV or ultraviolet light. So just like James Bond and all the other awesome super spies out there, you won't only be able to write secret messages, but if you've ever come across one, you might even be able to reveal one yourself. Thanks for watching. Bye.